All right, welcome back. We are live here at Bristol Motor Speedway and we are grilling the way it ought to be. This has become quite the tradition and it, like Chris said, it's one of his favorite parts of the show. It is, and you know, when, when you go to Victory Circle, uh -huh. when, when someone runs a race, you got to put on a bunch of hats. Well, I got my I got my Bush's Beans hats on right now. Bush's They're a big yes. winner this weekend. Yes, they, they are. are. And we are so excited because we've got Tiffany and Maureen here who have been working their tails off since early they this really morning have. doing some great grilling for us. And Tiffany, welcome to daytime. Great to be here. Thank you so much. And the, when you think about grilling, you think about Bush baked beans. beans. Yes, yes absolutely. So today we are going to be preparing some of our favorite summertime grilling recipes. We have uh, grilled brats, which I'm going to make one right here while we're waiting. The great thing about brats is you can uh, make them for whoever in your family, uh, whatever they are, their favorite ingredients are. Today we're using tricolored bell peppers. Mm, yeah. um, we also have some chicken kebabs mm -hmm. on the back grill back here with Maureen. Maureen's back there. I'm back grilling here. Away. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm telling you, grilling summer in bush, what's, what more? <laughs> And kebabs are always nice because you said you can personalize it so right. you can make yeah. them just like each one wants right. them. We can have, but at home we had some tomatoes, some bell pepper, um, mm. even mushrooms. mushrooms. So anything that you want uh, on your skewer you can uh, you can make that up and uh, nothing pairs great with a uh, brat and kebabs like a baked bean stuffed onion. So uh, oh. what we do here okay. is uh, I've never well. seen this before. I really okay. haven't. So I'm sorry I didn't bring one to demo, but you yeah. uh, basically take a knife at a 45 degree angle, cut out the center of the onion, and spoon in your favorite mm. Bush's baked bean. Today we are using the Southern Pit Barbecue Grill and Beans. Look you get an this. A plus, by the way, for creativity, because I love this. I love onions on the grill. They just mm. caramelize and they become even sweeter. And then using it as a cup goes so nicely with the beans, and you don't have to have a bowl to throw That's away. That's exactly right. It. You cut it up, you eat it. Um, it's just here on our show plate. We have a uh, look a at the char piece. she got on that uh -huh. onion. I mean, it looks so good, so paired good. with that brat. And I got to ask you on the brat. Yes. Now, when I prepare brats, sometimes I'll put them in like some beer or something like that, and soak them before I actually put them on the grill. Do you suggest that, or do you just suggest going straight, straight there? You with can it? do it either way that you like. Um, for these today, we did do a little pre-soak on them okay. just to get a little extra flavor in there because um, it pairs really well with the beans. Um, but it is up to you, personal preference. Like I said, uh, it's great for personalization, whatever uh, marinade that you like. Uh, we also marinated our chicken, but you can put whatever you like on that as well. And okay. you also have so many different flavors of different uh, beans that are ready to go yes. for your grilling needs. I mean, you got grilled beans especially, but you got so many different flavors, and you have the new organics as well. Yes, we do have the new organics, and I'm gonna pass these um, items to the grill back here to Maureen and then let her mm -hmm. get that going and then we'll start making our sizzling summertime salsa with the uh, oh, new right Bush's there. organic All right. there we uh, go. beans. And I have to ask, are you excited? I mean, being here at the track and you've got all your grilling stuff ready to go and you've got your Bush's best jacket on, what's it like for you guys? We're really excited. Um, this is sort of new for us. We haven't been on TV very much. So <laughs> we were a little nervous and very excited when they asked us to come out and do a segment for Bush and uh, grill and beans uh, and baked beans. And it's perfect. It's yeah, perfect. It's so perfect. we're excited to have you. All right, let's talk about this salsa because you have definitely piqued our curiosity yes. here. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a little spicy, a little sweet, but you take uh, two cans of the organic. It's kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. Spicy, a little sweet. Yes. Two yeah. cans of the tagline, right? <laughs> And just so you guys know, everything that uh, we got today, you can grab up here at your local food city. So um, you can run by there and get the organic oh, yeah. baked. Just kind of. I tell you what, we might have to try those onion bowls because uh, that uh, looks so mm, good it and does. it's fun. It's yeah. just different. All right, we got two cans of beans. We're gonna dump in a can of ro of uh, rotel. Rotel. Drain that what? a little bit. A cup of corn. We're gonna just stir some whole of that in. Whole corn. Yeah, so this is something that's super simple and easy to do while you're waiting for your uh, brats to grill and you can have some chips, a little garlic clove mm. minced up. I've never heard of salsa with beans in it though. It, this is a first. I'm so with the intrigued. the baked beans. Yeah, yeah that's no, I'm so be intrigued. so fun. Yeah. We also have uh, some baked bean quesadillas Ooh, that are really tasty that as well. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Get a little, a little pepper, a little jalapeno. little jalapeno for extra kick. And if you really want it spicy, we can throw in a couple of... Uh, Jalapenos, shakes of the uh, of fun Habanero, yeah. whatever yeah. you like. Whatever you like. Well, and when you think about a salsa, you need some of that good juice. So something like that with mm -hmm. the baked bean is yeah. really perfect. Yeah. So here you look, have it. Look how colorful that is yeah. too in the bowl. I mean, it looks beautiful. Corn adds a lot. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. 
And those green peppers. Oh, um, yeah. That looks really good. So there you have it. Simple summertime sauce, uh, salsa, sizzling summer salsa. Um, all of these recipes that we're featuring today will be on our website at bushbeans.com. Very nice. And you've got the chips here ready to go, yes. so you can just do a little just hearty dip. She got the scoops just got for the you, full Chris. meal. I mean, mm -hmm. if you can't get going racing with this meal, then something's wrong with you because it got the brat, got the onion, got the salsa. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing over here you got lots of fun things to garnish. So everything yeah. you need to make your grilling, because you know when you're tailgating out here, they go all out. They do. Races. They do go all out. <laughs> so another thing, if you don't want to have your beans, and another way to get them, and if you don't have a plate, you can serve them straight up on your. Oh, you're brought right yeah. on the dog. Okay. And add a little bit of our uh, mustard over here. A little brown mustard? Yeah. That's a that's a definitely a three to four napkin broth right there. <laughs> I, want, I want to see you take that right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right there on live TV. <laughs> Maybe a little relish. Okay. So you can dress it up however you like. That's why we have so many choices of ingredients here. So Very nice. Um, well, Tiffany and Maureen, we thank you thank guys you. so thank much you for, for having us. Of Daytime Tri Cities. It looks awesome. I can't wait to give it a try. Bush's Beans, they got you covered when it comes to your tailgating needs for the race this weekend. It is Bush's Beans, and they are local, and they are so delicious. We'll be back with more from right here at BMS in just a few moments.